In 2020, I received an email from a mother who was searching for some therapy options for her daughter who had sustained an injury during a mountain bike ride. Fast forward a few years and here we are sitting on a granite outcrop in Serpentine National Park and we are very grateful to be here. I'd like to introduce you to Eloise and Ilona Ald. Hey guys. Hi. Thanks so much for joining me on a hike this morning. Um, Eloise, I'd love to ask you a few questions about hikeability and how hiking has impacted your life over the last few years. I'd love to share. Thank you. I just feel like I'm out with nature and well you see my life almost been lost a couple times over. I just feel so thankful that I'm still here to this day. And would you feel comfortable sharing your story with me today about your injury and how your life has changed since that moment? Well I think we should probably ask my mum about that <laughs> because I'm a bit forgetful. <laughs> no problem. Thanks Ilona. It's so great to be here with you. Um, if you feel comfortable sharing the story, it would be great to, to hear it. Yeah, sure. So in um, 2019, when Eloise was 14, um, she was an under-15 national and Oceana um, mountain bike champion and uh, was doing really, really well. And a few, uh, in August of that year, she went out with her training squad and did a gap jump, which she had done many, many times before but it all went horribly wrong and she ended up crashing at great speed from a great height face first into the hard dirt. Um, her father was there at the time, he had to resuscitate her. She sustained multiple injuries, they didn't think that she was even going to make it alive to the hospital when the ambulance came to collect her. Um, she had broken her shoulder and her back but that was minor compared to the extensive brain injuries that that she had sustained. Oh. So um, it was quite a tense 24 hours whilst they tried to figure out whether they could keep her alive or not and um, and also had to do extensive um, plastic surgery because her helmet had smashed into her face and um, she smashed it all out really badly. And then they came back to us and they said, look, you know, she's putting through, we're going to put her in a coma and see what happens. Um, after two weeks, uh, they tried to take her off the life support, but unfortunately, a few hours later, she had to be rushed to Charlie Gardner's because she had had a serious aneurysm. Uh, so that was another um, very tense night when we wondered whether she was going to be able to hang on or not. But we had this incredible surgeon and um, he worked on you until 2 o'clock that morning and managed to save your life but unfortunately she had to have her coma um, go on for another four weeks whilst they monitor, monitored her and we were approached by some of the doctors and they said look it looks like Eloise is never going to um, be able to wake up from this coma it, you will have to switch off her life support machine um, in a year and then um, we sort of held on to hope and this incredible neurosurgeon came along and chatted to us and he said, look, we're just going to try one more thing. And so they um, put a shunt um, in her head and uh, the next day we got a call from the um, rehab nurses and they said, you've got to come over quickly. And they sat Eloise up in the bed and she had actually done a really sort of slow delayed high five and then from that moment on we knew that she was on her recovery journey and um, wow. yeah so it's been That's, quite a whirlwind. That is actually incredible and Eloise you wouldn't even know that you've had plastic surgery on your face you are such a beautiful Thank young you. woman and you are so full of life and sparkle it's amazing to be sitting here with you after such a crazy ordeal that you've been through and for someone that's known you now for oh, close to four, three, four years, um, I have seen you come such a long way um, and the fact that you're 19 now and you are a young woman who is living her life to the fullest and it's absolutely so special to be part of your journey so thank you so much. Um, Ilona, if it wasn't for that email back in 2020 then hikeability may not even be what it is today so thank you guys so much for really being the inspiration behind hikeability 
and my drive um, to better the world through accessible tourism. It's been very powerful to be able to work with you guys. Um, and yeah, it's been... I want to thank you too, Tracy, because, you know, you were... Uh... I'd reached out on this vain hope that, you know, you might come on board with us and was so surprised and so grateful when you said, sure, why not? And yeah. just, yeah, just um, gave it a go. And I think that is the important thing for a lot of people to remember is accessible tourism doesn't need to be a scary thing. It, it just break down the barriers and just think outside the box and making a difference to people's lives who are living with a disability is very, very easy just by saying yes and going, absolutely, we can adapt, no problem at all. Yeah. Um, and disability is very isolating. And so, you know, Eloise went from having a, a big social circle and having a full life to having radical changes. All her friends disappeared and you're very lonely and isolated, weren't you? And so yeah. <laughs> going on these hikes with Off the Beaten Track, helped you to connect with people, not just nature, but also to you know, human beings, which is really important, isn't it? It's nice to be seen. Yeah, I think that was one of the, the um, comments you made in an email to me back probably a couple of years ago, when you said, what is the thing, when you asked Eloise what it is that you like, she liked about hiking with, Elo, with Off the Bean Track, you said, it's because we see you. And that comment has stuck with me because it's a shame that not everyone sees you. Yeah, you see, I used to have so many friends and be so thankful for my life, but when I went through this crash, well, I seem to have lost contact with all my friends, and, you know, but you guys have thankfully helped me build up my friendship group to a wider community, so thank you. Oh, thank you, and now we're gonna do what you do best, and you're gonna give me a massive high five. <laughs> Thanks, girlfriend. <laughs> we better go finish our hike now. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, guys. <laughs>